The first step in thinking creatively about data visualization is to appreciate that graphics are built upon an underlying grammar. To begin, let's consider one of the most well-known sentences in English. The quick brown fox jumps over the lazy dog. Every word in the sentence has a clear grammatical definition, and when we, when we write text, we take great care to choose the grammatical elements so that we communicate a very specific message. If we change any of the grammatical elements of the sentence, it would change the meaning, sometimes subtly, sometimes dramatically. The same concepts hold true for data visualization. Graphics are built on an underlying grammar. This grammar of graphics is a plotting framework developed by Leland Wilkinson and published in his 1999 book, The Grammar of Graphics. There are two key things to note about the grammar of graphics. First, graphics are made up of distinct layers of grammatical elements, and second, Meaningful plots are built around appropriate aesthetic mappings. To continue our analogy to written grammar, the layers are like the adjectives and nouns, and the aesthetic mappings are like the grammatical rules for how to assemble that vocabulary. Let's explore grammatical elements first. There are seven grammatical elements in total, and three of them are essential, data, aesthetics, and geometries. The data is obviously the data which we want to plot. The aesthetics refers to the scales onto which we want to map our data, and the geome layer refers to the actual shape the data will take in the plot. The remaining elements are optional and control details of our plots. They are the facets, statistics, coordinates, and theme layer. We will explore the optional layers in the next course. This diagram gives an example of some of the terms we'll encounter in each layer. Whenever we make a plot, we are choosing from these items, and even more which are not shown. The grammar of graphics established the building blocks for solid, creative, and meaningful data visualizations. This means we are not limited to specific standard forms of expression, because now we have a framework that allows us to communicate in a way that best suits our goal. By the end of this course, you will be able to generate meaningful, exploratory plots using the first three layers. In the next courses, we'll go into detail into the remaining four optional layers. Let's head over to the exercises and explore one of the data sets that you'll be using throughout the two courses.